The Red Meat Profit Partnership and Beef and Lamb New Zealand have produced an online feed planning tool for sheep and beef farmers. It's called FeedSmart. It takes our printed feed tables for sheep and cattle and puts them at the click of a mouse or the tap of a finger. There's two ways to find it. You can go to the online interactive tools on the Beef and Lamb New Zealand website, click interactive tools and click on the FeedSmart icon. Or you can go into your web browser and type in feedsmart.co.nz. The tool takes very little data and in another video we'll show you how to save it to your tablet or smartphone home screen so it'll work offline anywhere, anytime. It also automatically detects the device you're using and will adapt the screen size to it. It's very simple to use. Simply select the species you wish to use. Let's work through a sheep example. You select your stock class. To keep it simple, let's use some ewe hoggets. It automatically defaults to the current date, but you can set that to any date you like in the future so you can work out future requirements. You need to put in their weight. Let's say we have some 50 kilogram hoggets today. And let's say we want to grow them at 50 grams per day. You can put in mating date and scanning percentage if they're mated, as that will naturally affect the feed re intake requirements. But if they're dry, simply leave those blank. So this tells us that these animals require 1.05 kilograms of dry matter per head per day intake, or 11.34 megajoules of ME. This will depend on the quality of feed, and in another video we'll show you how to adjust that to your specific um, example. You can then work on a number of short-term feed budgeting or allocation tools. We'll demonstrate them all in another video, but let's just show the simplest one first. Working out how many days a mob will last in a particular paddock at that level of intake. We have 500 of our ewe hoggets and a 5 hectare paddock. There's 1,500 kilograms of dry matter in that paddock, and because we want to keep them growing, we want to take them out when it gets down to a 1,000 kilograms of dry matter per hectare residual. And so the tool tells us that we can leave that mob in that paddock for four days to have them grow at that rate. Don't forget to check out our other videos where we'll show you how to save the tool to your homepage so it works offline, anywhere, anytime. We'll show you how to customise it to your particular farm and we'll show you how to use the other allocation tools including feeding supplement as part of the diet.